Detroit Lions on the clock at two say, let's stay in state. They take edge rusher Aiden Hutchinson out of the University of Michigan. Go blue, getting it done. This was a guy who finished runner-up for the Heisman Trophy and expected to give a little electricity to that Lion defense. All right, so Aiden Hutchinson, I I feel like in the mock drafts, this was the one that everybody already matched up, right? I mean, we sort of, we didn't know it was going to go one necessarily. We didn't know it was going to go three, but felt like Aiden Hutchinson, two to the Lions, was going to be a good fit. Pete, what do you think of the selection? Yeah, I like this selection. Uh, I actually gave it a a B-plus grade. I gave it a higher grade than the Trayvon Walker pick before him. I think Hutchinson's, again, he's polished. He knows the tricks of the trade. Uh, Now the next step for him will be how he handles the NFL tackles because they've seen all those tricks already. In college, you get away with them. Uh, But I think he's going to be a productive 10, 11, 12-sack uh, guy every single season. I don't think he's ever going to be the 17, 18 sack guy, but I think he's more of those guys. You put them down on the field, you know you're going to get 10, 11 sacks. And I love this pick also when you look at the New York Football Giants defensively. When they were at their best, they did a great job in putting pressure on passers. When you look at some of their Super Bowl runs with some of the defensive linemen that they had, they did a, a phenomenal job getting those guys in positions to be successful. And the thing that I love the most about Aiden Hutchinson, Hutchinson the effort. His motor is always on. He reminds me a lot of Max Crosby, the talented defensive end that just got a nice big-time bag from the Raiders. He's always running. He's always using relentless effort to be able to be successful, and I think he would do the same thing there in Detroit. Yeah, here's what the Lions are doing. They're not hitting home runs, but they're hitting doubles with their picks. Last year, Panay Sewell, anchor on the offensive line, is going to be a really good football player. This year, Aiden Hutchinson, anchor on the defensive line. And, oh, by the way, they have picks 32, which they maybe they trade down from or take a quarterback, as we talked about, Pete. And then they have pick 34. So this is how you build a team, Pete. You get guys that have proven it in college, have upside the young football players. Panay Sewell was 20 when he came out. Aiden Hutchinson is 21. And you know what they can do at the next level. It may not be 18-sack guy. But if it's a 10, 12, 11 sack guy, that fits into what Dan Campbell wants. Feels like Dan Campbell's going to like him and he's going to like Dan Campbell, right? Yeah. I mean, again, there feels like a lot of synergy between this player, this city, this team, the way they want to play and how he plays. What are the concerns here, BMAC, with Aiden Hutchinson? Just the point of attack. When I look at one of the more physical ball games that he participated in last year was against Georgia. And you look at Georgia's offensive linemen, there are a lot of guys that will be playing on Sundays eventually. And at the point of attack, he didn't really uphold that standard that I thought he would be able to. So that's something that he has to get better at, especially in the National Football League, playing in the NFC North. You're going to see a lot of teams that try to be more physical at the point of attack, and he has to be able to withstand that battle, especially going number two overall. Because when you go top two, on the defensive line. You're not a situational player. You will be an every down guy. And a lot of those downs, you will be seeing a lot of runs coming at you. Yeah, but again, in that division with Aaron Rodgers, you got to be able to knock him down. I mean, you have to. And he's not going to be there forever. I get it. But you still have to be able to knock the quarterback down. This is a pass rush pick. If he plays the run, and he's not bad against the run. He chases down run plays. You're right. At the point of attack, guy's coming right at him. He's got to be better at that. I think this is all about getting to the quarterback. All right. So we shall find out if this is the right selection But Aiden Hutchinson, which we all sort of fought and saw coming, that this was going to be the marriage between University of Michigan and Detroit, goes to Detroit, and he'll see the building hitting doubles. As you say, they're going to need a few more doubles if they want to get some wins up in Motor City. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.